Yes, my friend. How are you doing? I am fine. Thank you. I am very good. So, what do you think about <laughs> the Quran speaking that you can have sex with your daughter in the interpretation if she is daughter from adultery? <coughs> Where is the, the hadith? You are the person who speaks Arabic, you are perfect. It's in the front of you. This is the chapter of 25, verse number 54. And this is Tafsir al Qurtubi, as you see in the screen. Jami'u al Ahkam al Ahkam al Quran al Qurtubi. And read with me. Here we go. Read it. You speak Arabic, you are Moroccan. You are Moroccan. Okay. All of this to read this is just four lines. But this is not a hadith, this is just uh, interpretation, interpretation. Okay, it says you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why why you must believe in that? Read it, brother, read, read in Arabic, read. Let us hear your, your Arabic reading. I wanna I, I like I like Moroccan when they read Arabic. Go ahead. Praise be to Allah. We have an amazing book teaching us that if I have a daughter, she is not my the daughter of my wife, but she is my daughter, I can have sex with her too. That's amazing, brother. This is his interpretation. It's true, but this is the interpretation. This is your scholar, al Qurtubi, and this is not me. This is not a Christian scholar. You, why al Qurtubi saying that, my friend? Why al Qurtubi saying that? Why al Qurtubi saying that? Let me seek him. Okay. Is he is not a prophet? He can be. He can do any mistake. Hmm. He's not a prophet. Yes. But the Quran says, okay. Let me ask you. According to the scholars of Islam, is your daughter from adultery yes. is considered as your daughter? I don't know about this. Uh, oh, don't tell me you do not know. Suddenly, no. suddenly you do not know. Come on, you are a Moroccan person. You speak Arabic. Uh, you know. Yes, your Arabic is funny, like your prophet. But it's, it's still okay. You can read. So don't tell me I do not know. According to Islam, a daughter from adultery is not considered as a daughter. You know that. She don't have inheritance. She cannot carry the father's name. She cannot take money from the father. She is no one. Why? Because she is not considered as a daughter. Correct? Let's change this, this subject. I don't know. No, this is the subject. This is the subject. Because of that, because of that, she is not your daughter. So the Quran forbid you from having sex with your daughter because the one she is your daughter is only daughter from marriage. And this what, what it says here. Difference? This is what it says difference? here. If you have a daughter out of marriage, Islam forbid you, the Quran forbid you from having sex from your daughter in chapter 4, verse number 23. Correct? Okay, so it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. But only a daughter in Islam is a daughter in Islam is what? A daughter from marriage. And you know that. So what kind of a prophet, what kind of religion teaches such a teaching? What is the problem in the verse? The verse he say your mother and your the daughter. problem. No, the problem is saying the problem is saying the that you you no the problem the problem is that you can have sex with your daughter. So let us say you have you are a Muslim who live uh, in Morocco and you step with the women mm -hmm. out of marriage and then she gave you a beautiful girl. According to Allah, you can have sex with the mother of the daughter and the daughter in the same time as you see in the front of you on the screen. The verse that didn't say anything about my friend. The, does uh, does the scholar say that or I'm lying? Scholar is not the Quran. Scholar the, my friend, okay. This, uh, so why you call him a scholar if he's a scumbag? Why you call him a scholar if he's saying something stupid like this? How you allowed him to be even exist as a scholar to teach you Islam and Allah, and you Muslim call him a scholar, but he he, he give you the garbage if this is not a true. If, if if a scholar wants to see something, you cannot force him to, to not see it. This is his opinion. Okay, what is your opinion, how? my friend? So, uh, so how we understand Islam then? If this is the opinion of the scholar saying I can have sex with my daughter, 
and the opinion of the scholar is wrong. So should we follow your opinion, your majesty? We should follow the Quran. Quran says you don't, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't have uh, sex with your mother and your daughter. Mm. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. Okay, okay. Does the Quran say that in the heaven, in the heaven, you are going to have whatever you wish? Yes. Okay. If somebody wished to have sex with his mother in the heaven, is that going to be granted? It depends on the person. Okay, so you are saying to me, guys, did you hear it? If a man in the heaven of Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother, it's fine. He can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Uh, okay, according to who is, is it wrong in the heaven? Okay, I'm asking you according to, you said it's it's right. No problem. I'm not saying wrong or right. I'm asking you. It's, what is the wisdom? What is the wisdom? Okay. What is the wisdom in your religion that in the heaven you can have sex with your mother? In the heaven you can, you, Allah will give you what you, whatever you want. If you want it, this is your, your, your business. So, okay, so in, in, in the heaven of Allah, if somebody, he is a gay, he's a homosexual, and he would have sex with men, is he going to be granted men to have sex with? My friend, Allah, he says you will get whatever you want. He didn't go to the details. My friend, that's this it. I got you. I got you. So, so in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah, hmm? in the heaven of Allah, you will have whatever you wish. A guy who is a gay, he like to have it bang bang from the wrong location. You know what I'm talking about. Allah, He will grant him. Allah will give him. Allah will give him a gay to if uh, together. So, you the the heaven of your God is uh, what is that? I mean. When we say whatever you wish, that's mean. So, what the point of saying you cannot do this in earth, but you can do it? You can do it in heaven. Why Allah says that being a gay in earth is a big sin, but being a gay in heaven is okay. Do you know why? Why? Because this, because in the earth we it's it's a test. But after in the heaven there is no sin, there is nothing. There is no the day of judgment, so you will live here for for okay. forever. So in the so heaven of Allah, see. in the heaven of Allah, you Muslims are a bunch of hippies. You are a bunch of hippies. You you have your penis in your hand, and you go and you put your penis wherever you wish. Just what you are saying to me, right? Your mother, your sister, your daughter, your neighbor, your brother, you f everybody. This is what you are saying to me. There is no limitation. You f whoever in your my way. My friend, when Allah say you can have whatever you want. Mm. If you want something, if you want to, if someone, mm. what, the, the, what if somebody, what, okay, hold on, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult my friend. Listen to me, listen to me. What if a man, he, what if a man he wished to, to, to f your prophet? Can I answer? Yes, sure, go ahead. If you want to do anything to, to someone else, the person that you want to do it, he also, he wants to, if he refuses, he, you cannot do it, you know. Hmm. Because it depends on the two person. It doesn't say that. Do no, it you... doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says whatever you wish, whatever you wish as okay. an individual, not ever uh, whatever you wish, and you know whatever you wish. But anyway, anyway, if a man, he, if a man, okay, if a man he wanted to have sex with your prophet, Allah, he said to him, whatever you wish, is that okay? And the and the prophet also he have what he will wish. Okay. And he so will if the prophet, the, the, you are saying to me, if your prophet agree that he will bend over the guy, he can do him. He, there's no problem. He will, he will never agree because you, this is your. Uh, how function. you know? How you know? Your prophet, he, your prophet, obviously he like he like men, isn't it? Isn't it true that your prophet he put uh, eyeliner three times a day? My friend, this is your assumption. How I you am not assumption. I can show you the reference. Is it a true? Is it a true that your prophet he kiss a man down his belly? I found we are talking about the heaven. We are Actually, talking about earth. If he is doing that in earth, why he will not do that in heaven? Muhammad already he liked to kiss men down their belly. That's mean in the heaven he will like yeah. to do so. Right? Your philosophy in heaven doesn't work, my friend, because the two person, because if you want to do something that what you, what you want, the other person. He will do what he wants. No problem, no problem. But you said to me that a, a man in the heaven, he will get whatever he wish. Obviously, you're a prophet. He wished to kiss men down their belly. So you're a prophet in the heaven. Sure. Right away when he go to heaven, he will ask Allah to send him men who have nice belly so he can he kiss them all over there. And the guy will say to him, please, please don't stop. Please, there, right there, right there. This is the hate in front of you. Read it. This is the hadith. Read it.
show me the Arabic one. No problem. Here we go. What do you think? I don't see it. Just uh, move the screen. What do you mean you don't see it? It's clear. Where will I see it? Okay, okay. Okay, it's very good. I wish Muhammad at that time he have a camera so we can watch him live. I will be the first one to subscribe to watch him in video. My friend, mm. the heaven has nothing to do with the earth. The heaven. So you agree the, that your prophet the, kissing men, kissing no, men down no. their belly, down to their balls, and he is a prophet of God, and now he is in heaven. Obviously, Muhammad he liked that. So in the heaven of Allah, he is going for sure agree with the man. He want to have sex with him. There's no problem no, with Muhammad no, but, saying that. Huh? Okay, isn't it your prophet? Isn't it your prophet? He said that in the heaven there's a market, and this market there's images of men and women. Show me, no problem. And and uh, and uh, you know, and uh, if you wish to have sex with the uh, uh, with any image, men or women, you go right away and you enter the image and you have sex with it. Read the hadith for me, please. Okay, here we go. What is the problem? She's the problem, problem is the problem is that in the heaven of Allah, it's granted for you. you even even there's a market, there's a market in heaven where you can go to the market in the mall. There's nothing but images of men and women, but the customers are men, as you see in the hadith. So whenever a man he wish a desire of a, of an image, but images are images of men and women. So when a Muslim man have a desire of any image, he enter it to have sex with it. So now if somebody okay, what the problem is, what you is go in the heaven in Las Vegas. Thing? Okay, you are we are walking in Las Vegas. You saw an image of La, uh, Michael Jackson. You will have sex with Michael I'm Jackson. Talking about huh? The heaven is not. Are you seeing? This is a sin. So having sex this with or having sex with Michael Jackson in heaven for you as a man is not a sin, correct? My friend, are you seeing? This is a sin. For and me, it yes, bad. it's a sin. It's a sin. Yeah, it's a big sin. For me, it's because a sin. I'm a Christian. Huh? In the heaven, there is no sin. You can, you will, you will, you will, never, you will never be judged in the heaven. Okay, so you so are saying to us, you are saying to us, in the heaven of Allah, everybody he he have sex with anyone, male, man with man, uh, with children. What about children? You can have sex with children too, right? Because whatever you wish. There's many people they are what sick in their mind. There, there's people they are sick in their mind. They like to have sex with children. What do you think about having sex with the children? Do you agree with that in the heaven too? What if somebody decide? What if somebody Allah wish? What if somebody wish to have sex with your son in the heaven of Allah? It is you who will do it. I know this because all all, all you are thinking is 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 uh, about if if in the heaven. The well, your God Allah if your God Allah He says if isn't it your God Allah He says if uh, your God Allah keeps saying if how come Allah can't see an if I cannot say if here we go you are the one who say to me if if He wish to have it you are the one who use the word if. So you can use it, I cannot use it. Why? Here we go. You are in heaven, yeah. and now you like to have sex with the children, and you are saying to me, there's no objection. You we must then we can have sex with male with male and female, children and adult. What if a guy he wanna have sex with a donkey? Is it okay? Can I answer? Sure, go ahead. We know that in Islam uh, the 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 people when we when we will he go to heaven mm. he will not have the same the same quality as in the earth yeah you will have will, you have a lot more ugly quality obviously you became more ugly because you just said to me in the heaven of allah you will be you you will turn to be addicted to sex you have sex with everything on your way i'm sure if you go to the heaven okay. and you see a hole in the wall you will put your penis there okay. because nothing is forbidden no more in the earth, you Muslims, you have a fatwa. You have a fatwa that you can have sex with watermelon. I can show it to you. Watermelon, even watermelon, you have sex with it. So in the heaven, 
if in the earth you are doing this in the heaven what you would do what you will have sex with watermelon you will have sex with the fig you will have sex with the rabbit you will have sex with the birds you will have sex with the cats you will have sex with boys i mean there's no limitation in the heaven of allah so the heaven of allah is nothing but a porn palace are you finished go ahead i'm listening you you think about sex in the earth because this you need it to to to, to live but in the heaven hmm. the the you have a new creation yeah so but, but all okay. that you are thinking hmm. that has nothing to do with the earth so why your why your prophet is promising you all uh, just sex in the heaven if this have nothing to do with the earth why your prophet even he promised you that in the heaven your penis will never go soft and you will if as many as you wish why he promised you that the man in the heaven he will have the power of 40 men for bang bang if this is different creation or what we see that you you became more addicted to sex you are not out of sex you became worse so in earth you have a power of one man but in the heaven you need more because you will have the power of 40 men are you finished yeah each time i say something to you you say to me are you yeah. finished but you don't say anything did your god allah did your prophet he promised you the power of 40 men and he promised you that your penis will never go sleep did the, did the Quran speak about what you, what we will have in uh, the heaven you, will well, you just said to me you whatever have... you wish are you wishing are you wishing yourself that your penis would not go uh, good you just said to me you whatever you wish and your prophet he says that yeah okay what why you will you wish something something bad according to you why you don't wish anything good what is the good in Islam? Here we go. Look at the good. This is the good. Muhammad taking an oath. This is the good of Islam. Muhammad taking an oath that I swear by Allah that any one of you, the lowest, this is the lowest reward for a Muslim. This is the bad reward. That when you go to the heaven, you will have at least 72 wives and from the the, 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 the two, uh, uh, two like 70 of them, they are from the one Allah he would import from the heaven, which means they are prostitute because they have a nice vagina and they have a beautiful, beautiful breast, as you see. You see, it says here, and uh, 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 from his inheritance from the people of hell. So Allah will choose the most expert women in sex, and they are hookers. They are very good in sex, and they are very beautiful. And he will import them from hell, and then he will bring them to you, and they have to have a specific qualification. They have desirable front passages, which means they have nice nipples, they have nice breasts, they have nice vagina, you name it. All right? And then he promised you in the top of that that I swear by Allah that your private part will become like a concrete, will never go sleep. What is the problem with this? There's no problem. Thank you very much, guys. There's no problem. This guy, this Muslim from Morocco, he see no problem with that. No problem. Okay, this is this is Islam, my friend. Thank you very much. There's no problem. My friend. Hmm. No problem with this. Hmm. You don't see a problem here. Is it a sin? No, there is no problem because, because well, define me what is. Well, all, all what, is what you said to me is a sin. You said to me, okay, let's look what you said. You said to me a second ago. You said, you said to me, in the heaven there is no sin, and now you are asking me if is it a sin. This is a contradiction. You said to me it's okay no, to have sex with men. You said to me it's okay to have sex with your children. It said it's it's it, it's okay to have sex with animals, and now you are saying to me, is it a sin? In the earth, I talk about the earth, which is us. In the heaven, in the heaven, it's okay. So in the heaven of Allah, you can do all things which was considered to be sin in earth, correct? Yes. Okay, that's the thank you. They, okay, thank you for calling, my friend. Thank you for calling. I, you know, I, I cannot really stay long. Mr. Kareem, thank you very much for calling me. I really appreciate you. You are a nice gentleman. And may Allah uh, uh, protect your penis and uh, keep it for the day of judgment because you will need it a lot. I mean... Obviously, this is the religion of penis, and I am not really interested in such a religion. No, no, sorry, I cannot, I cannot take any calls. Sorry, guys. That's it for today. We will take not any more calls. But as you see, guys, here we go. This is Islam. No, actually, we will take one more call. There's Abdul. He was calling me names, so we will see what he wanna say to us. He was saying to me, "You are a fraud." Imagine people who believe that they can have sex with their mother, their daughter, their niece, their grandmother in heaven, with men and children, even animals, they speak about a fraud. Listen carefully. 
even have sex with pictures and this is coming from God well I believe that to have and to be in love with this you have to be a perverted person sorry to say so does not that does not fit with the qualification of what the one we call him God for he is holy in the house in the house of Allah what we see is a bunch of hippies have no panties and their penis never go sleep and all what they do they just uh, screw around it doesn't matter if it's your mother your your son your daughter your you, it doesn't matter who anything have a hole just go for it even if it's a disposal machine that cannot be from God my friend if you are a Muslim and watching this please think 100 times before you go to sleep ask yourself can this be from God that cannot be this is a devil trying to tempt you with your penis this is the devil even he promised you a river of wine a river I mean he, he said in the Quran that the wine is the made of the devil but yet Allah is going to import the devil of the the, the devil made wine to, to the heaven <laughs> madness madness and stupidity obviously Muhammad trying to tempt men to die for him to fight for him so he can get his glory to be a king Imagine now if I can convince all of you how many people are listening 1,000 if I say to you go and die for me huh? And you will get paid in heaven and just send me your money and send me your wives That's what Muhammad did he made a chapter saying any woman she want to give herself to me so I can bing bing with her The fifth from every attack is to my pocket The best of the attack is to my pocket if you want to speak to me in a private you have to pay me Muhammad is God he fooled those people this is why you see someone uh, uh, you know he wanna he wanna go to heaven he commits suicide bombing because he is he is desperate to go there he wanna go and get those pictures he wanna have sex with Michael Jackson you wanna go and have sex with Muhammad himself they are not in love with Allah they are in love with their penises this is why you see the promises is a promise made for men but the women there they are just sex toys because Muhammad he need fighters he do not need women so all the promises is made for the man the benefit of the man there's one hadith says that the women she will be 70 times more pretty in heaven which is very stupid very silly because if you are 70 times more pretty in heaven nothing change just to show you how silly Muhammad is and how he's trying to insult you if we have a woman her name is Fatima we will call her F and there is a woman her name is uh, Khadija we will call her K and there is a woman her name is Aisha we will call her A and then Fatima is a three time more pretty than Khadija Khadija is one time beauty and the second one is twice more beauty than Aisha and now we make them all X by 70 nothing change this one will be 200 210 time more beauty this one will be 140 time more beauty and this one became 70 times more beauty, but nothing changed. You were ugly in earth, you're still ugly in heaven. Sorry, it's fooling you. Stupidity. We have a guy, his name is Ras. He's trying to call me. Hold on, I am interested to see this Ras. Hold on, Ras. I'm going to call you back. You see, I thought Ras is very upset, and I don't like to see a Muslim upset. It's against my uh, policy. I don't like to see Muslims upset. I never made a Muslim upset, by the way, all my life. That's why they like me very much. Uh, Ras, let me call you. Because I think I saw that you, you tried to call me, right? Okay, I'm, I'm going to call you myself. 
and so Mr. Russ. How are you, Mr. Russ? Prince? Yes, my friend. How are you? Are you Prince. are you upset from me? Do you hear me? Hello? I heard you. I saw you in the text saying this guy is a fraud. Why you don't want to talk now? Do you hear me? Oh, hold on. Maybe Prince. maybe his voice is not coming to him. Hold on. Hello? Prince. Okay, do you hear me now? I saw you on the text saying this guy mute, is mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? You say you, you, you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fine. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, I, sin I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart Listen, like you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and I, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and I to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Nike mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Nike in one bed. But it, it wouldn't be my it would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven, think of it as anything can happen. Well, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nike having sex with your sister in the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what they can say. This is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nike and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet, he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean, I think that will be hurting real badly. Do you think Allah will ease your anus pain? No, no, listen, it, that person, whoever wants to do it, mm -hmm. he would uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space. The time and space, no problem, but he needs his penis too. So you are a man now, and the man, he want to do sex to you, and now, you know, because you are a man, unless you are used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you? When he when a, when Abdul he do I would not I would not be the one that he does it to Abid. Why? Uh, you you like to do it to men. You don't like men to no, do no, it to no, you. No 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time and space. Ah, so your anus would be bigger in the heaven. Okay, I got that. No so, no no. So what You're do you mean I am different me? You are saying different me. I don't know. A me in a different time and space. I, I understand different time and space. I get that, you know. I, what, okay, explain to us different time and space. What does that mean? Let us see uh, what, what I try okay. to say. For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah. yeah yes. Okay. So, if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh -huh. 
Oh, uh, yes. My answer is yes. I just explained to you. Look like you are waiting for it. Like, because you said like, yeah, yes. Like, wow, man. Look like you are dying no, for that. because bit. you go in a loop. Because you repeated the same thing. I said yes already. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, my friend, after you spend all your day having sex with men and women and your mother and your sister, as you say, do you think, don't you think this is like really weird? I mean, what is, what kind of heaven this heaven is? It is weird because due to our moral and uh, human minds, yes. Mm. But once you, once you go to heaven, you are free from that. Mm. So you are in the heaven of Islam. Let us make it clear for the audience, me and you. In the heaven of Islam, you will be free from your moral, correct? Yes. Which means you will you will have no morality. Sorry, sorry, what? You said that in the earth we have moral. In heaven, we don't have moral, correct? It's a social 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 structure. Yes. Yeah. So in the heaven of Allah, we have no moral. We can do whatever we wish. So if my 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 neighbor he have a wife, I can jump over his window, and I can do bing bong with the wife, right? Your desires will happen, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And what what will make that of you? I mean, uh, is that will make you really happy? You think this will be a very happy time for you? Any any of my desires will have be able to happen. Yes. Hmm. If that okay. someone is happy, then they'll be happier. I, okay, no, my friend. I don't know. The, the one before you, we asked him about having sex with your daughter. He said there's no problem. Yeah. Is that the same for you? You don't have a problem having sex with your daughter? In heaven? Yeah. I don't care. It's heaven. I'm already dead. Okay. No, no, in heaven, you are not dead. You are alive there. You have a real penis. No, I'm dead from this world. Ah, okay. So, in the heaven of Allah, you have no problem. Uh, somebody actually is asking me, what if somebody, uh, 500 men, they want to have sex with you? Let us say, let us assume you are very handsome, you know, you are handsome very much, and there's 500 men they want to have sex with you. So what we would do now? You are, it's okay for you? They would love them. Um, mm. Sounds like it's they, very something you like very much. Okay. Well, no, you know. No, it's in the time and space that each man will be able to imagine whatever they want and it will happen. Mm. Okay. Well, I don't know. This is a very interesting religion, by the way. I don't understand what your problem with that is. Uh, for uh, I, I'm sure you don't understand because you are coming from different uh, world, my friend. You don't have a problem with anything. Having sex with your mother, with your sister, with your daughter, with the goat, with the donkey, men with men. I mean, this is the hippie religion. Okay, where do you we think have... that having uh, many wives is wrong? In earth? Yeah, any, any, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says don't multiply your wives. How many wives did Solomon have? It's not God who taught him to do that. Suleiman, he, you know, and David, they, they, they ask God for repentance. They pray for God, saying, please, God, forgive us. About having multiple wives, what about Moses? About all, Moses all, also? About, about, all about the sin. You know, so you, uh, uh, things happen in... Uh, oh, so each okay. prophet uh, okay, had my friend, multiple okay, wives. Okay, my friend, my friend. Even Abraham, Abraham, the father of those names, he had two wives, correct? Yes. But it's not God who taught him to do that. So... And there is a certain time where people so you they, can't hold, eat hold, unless God tells you to eat. You can't that. walk until no, 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 unless no, no, God tells no, you no, to walk. No, 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 no. There is a certain time Sorry. where even in the in the in the beginning of Adam and Eve, a brother he have sex with his sister. Is that correct? Sorry, sir. The children of Adam and Eve, they had mm -hmm. sex with their sisters. Is that correct? In order to procreate, yes. Right. Okay. So because at that time it was a special, so it was okay. But after that, then Allah came, says, you cannot do that. So to a certain point, it was okay. So they did not receive an order from God yet to say, no, you cannot do that. Now, you as Muslims, after you go to heaven, you only... See, you mixed it. You, you, see, you mixed it. I, no, said, I did not mix it. I did not mix it. You see, no, for I me said, as a Christian, have sex with, my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, the proof that it's wrong to have many wives, that we Christians don't allow having many wives. You can have only one woman, and one man, and that's it. Not many wives. In your religion, you can multiply as many as you wish. You can have four at the same time, but there's no limit, which means I can marry four now, divorce them after 10 minutes, and then marry another four, divorce them after 10 minutes, and then marry four, etc. As long as I can afford it, there's no problem. At the same time, I can buy as many as the slaves I can, have sex with them. But here, not, not only this, your madness goes go beyond to the heaven of Allah, where in the heaven you do nothing but having sex with everything around you, including animals, no, so you see, including okay, women, see, what, including what is children. The point of heaven, then? What is the point of heaven? Okay, so the point of heaven for you is holding your, your penis around and having sex with no, anything no, I'm you want. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, if, if you can't do, your desires don't happen in heaven or earth. 
What is the point of the well, the, ha the heaven for me as a Christian in the heaven we will be free from those things because the first desire I have is to, to be free from needs. You see, when they ask Jesus, the Jews, they ask him, a woman she get married from first husband, second husband, so she will be the wife for the who in the heaven. He said, What he, if you want multiple wives? Hold on, you cannot, you cannot, because simply the heaven of God is not about sex. The heaven of God that you will be a different being who enjoy freedom. No, 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 you worship him forever and ever. I already know. Yes, we worship him, yes, but in the same time, we are not worshiping him because he will give us a penis and a vagina. We worship him because he will share his glory with us and we will be free from slavery because sex that is, a... is slavery that is slavery no no it's the opposite yes, you're worshiping sitting there worshiping forever and ever isn't that no hell. this is not a slavery because we believe in a free will nobody is forcing you don't worship him if you also you don't have to no. worship him no no my friend you know i don't have to worship him yes i don't have to because I, I, can, I can be, i can be i can be a pagan like you who kiss a black stone worship a vagina who kiss it and lick it but i choose not to be so it's a free will now you as in the heaven you, you have free will in heaven hold on you have free will in heaven Yes, because simply I will be free. This is the free will. I will be free. Okay, so you free. have the free will of having uh, as many wives as you want? No, the free will is to be the same as angels, which means we will be pure. This is the free will. My free will there, I will not be having the nature of sex and food and etc. Okay, said, that's not free Hold will. on, let free me explain to you. Is explain the to my will friend. of doing my whatever friend. you want. Listen, listen. No, no, let, no. let me explain Free will. You. Free will means being able to make a decision. Yes. without being affected yeah, by your anything else that's correct but because now you are different nature you will be the same as angels you are not a human being who is carrying his penis and desire sex you will be different creation and you will be different person so he said he and she they will be the same as angels what angels are about they don't have desire for sex they don't have desire for food they don't get hungry they don't need to eat they do not need to sleep so we will be free from all our needs so we will be free. And this is the best, best promise God can give you. He give you your freedom. You live as if you are, not God, but as if you are a person who is close in nature to God. You will be free from all the needs. You don't, and happiness will be different. So you Muslims, you understand happiness from the west and down. For us, we Christians, we understand happiness from the heart and up. We will enjoy the glory of the Lord to be with him, and we will be free from our needs. In Islam, you will become a slave of your needs and he will increase your needs. So your penis can't even sleep no more. So now you have more needs of sex. Your penis need more men and more women and more goats and more watermelon to have sex with them. So you became addicted to sex and you are a slave of sex. So your God don't give you freedom and There's joy. There's only pleasure. Your God, no, my friend. Okay, anyway, thank you very much for calling. Uh, uh, I, I did call you because you mm -hmm. said the uh, Christian prince is a fraud. But look who is the fraud here. The fraud is the one who promised me I will have sex with my mother in heaven. I will have sex with my daughter. I will have a threesome with Zach and Nick with the sister. That is the fraud myself.